Alright, I'm back, and we're going to do the uh, few other fuels, and we're going to put some nitrous oxide in there. This is really cool. Um, as you can see, I've, I've just got, it's a two liter soda bottle. It is deformed, because I've done this about a dozen times with it already. The heat will cause the plastic to deform. I just got uh, generic brand crap. I got 79 cents at a grocery store or something. <laughs> Excuse me. Just get the cheapest stuff you can, and of course I always recommend you get drunk when you play with uh, rocket engines and flammable liquids. So, uh, two liter soda bottle, you need that. You need fuel for it. If you saw the previous video with the, uh, the butane rocket, um, yes, you can use butane from cigarette lighter. Uh, it's a bit more tedious because you have to stand there and leak it into it and leak it into it. And I don't, honestly, I don't know how much you need for this. Uh, I figured up 30 seconds for a uh, for 20 ounces, and uh, this is 67.6 uh, .6 fluid ounces, so about three times as much, about 90 seconds. If you wanted to use butane, I wouldn't. You could, it'll work fine, but it's a lot easier just to squirt some alcohol. This is isopropyl rubbing alcohol, okay, 91%. 70% um, is more common. If you can find 91%, which I could, I found it at uh, just the, the local drugstore on the shelf, no problem. Uh, get the 91%, that'll burn better. 70% will work as well. I'm gonna try some uh, Everclear, 95% ethyl alcohol. It's a different kind of alcohol, but it's still alcohol. It's still extremely flammable. And uh, we might try some lighter fluid. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not because we're inside and alcohol burns clean, no fumes, but uh, that lighter fluid is a uh, petroleum-based um, chemical. So when it burns, it's gonna leave fumes. It's not gonna smell real good. Uh, I probably don't do that outside. Anyway, making the rocket. If you didn't see the previous one, you gotta have a, a nozzle. I'm gonna show you how to make the nozzle. Come here. Okay, this is very simple. Just heat the plastic up. The diameter of the nozzle needs to be, it's about the same as a pen or pencil, pencil so I'm gonna use a stainless steel cross pencil here. And uh, the plastic's too hard by itself, so we're gonna heat it up with a flame, get it soft, like so. And then just pick a spot and Puncture it like that. The plastic is a lot thicker than the one on the other bottle. Okay, you get the point. I'm going to hurry up and do this because I've already got another one made where I did the same thing. All right, so we've got the soda bottle. We've got the nozzle made. It doesn't need a nozzle if you're using nitrous oxide, okay, which we're going to do. Uh, but it does work better with a nozzle, although you don't need one if you're going to use the nitrous. Nitrous oxide we're getting from a whipped cream charger. Um, and these you can get online. They're, they're very easy to find. And these uh, chargers here, this is just nitrous oxide, pure nitrous oxide. This is cafe cream. Uh, I got these off of Amazon, 24 of them for about $10, I think, plus shipping. Uh, they're cheap. They're easy to find. There's a local uh, cookware store has cooking supplies and, and, and such that, that carries this. I've seen it there as well. I don't know if a grocery store like Walmart or, uh, or wherever would have it, um, maybe. But uh, the whipped cream charger itself was, I think, maybe 20 or $30. And then the, uh, the gas for it is uh, relatively inexpensive. And you can find these things online. Very easy to get hold of. Uh, you can also get nitrous oxide from a, uh, just a, a can of uh, a whipped cream uh, charger. Um, I keep thinking of whippets. That's not what it's called. <laughs> but um, yeah, the, the stuff that's got whipped cream in it and has nitrous oxide in it already, you can get it for like $1.99 from, um, from the grocery store. But anyway, you need isopropyl rubbing alcohol. All right, we're gonna do that. And just a couple sprays in there. You really only need about one spray. I'm gonna put this over here, it's here. That there. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, nitrous oxide. Need a lot. And here we go. Stand back when you do this. That didn't work as well as I hoped. Let's try that again. There we go. That's what I was looking for. 
All right, that's without the nozzle. I'm gonna go get it, make sure it's not on fire. And now we're gonna do it with the nozzle. And uh, I don't think there's any more alcohol in it. Give it a little squirt. So we're gonna of that nitrous oxide nozzle on it and this should be even better. Which it was. Right. Careful with that. Um, okay. Try a bit of Everclear. And we're gonna need some more nitrous oxide. <sighs> oh, and you will not, you will not get this to do that without the nitrous oxide. You can go ahead and try, and I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen. And the reason for that is you're replacing the oxidizer that the fuel is using. Okay, if you just put a little bit of alcohol or any kind of other fuel in there, and then light it, it'll work a little bit. I've, got, I've gotten it to go, you know, maybe five or 10 feet. It, it will shoot up a little bit if you get the, the fuel air mixture just right. The danger of it usually is you're gonna make it too rich. You're gonna put too much fuel in there. So very little fuel if you're not gonna use the nitrous. Um, and then it's just, uh, it's, it's running off the fuel and the O2 in the air, which is, and our atmosphere is only about 15% oxygen. So it's only got a 15% oxygen atmosphere in there to, to burn the fuel off of, that's not very much oxidizer for that fuel to run off of. And we're replacing that with a 100% nitrous oxide atmosphere, and it'll use all of that nitrous oxide and burn all the fuel at once very, very quickly, and you get the kind of reaction you just saw. Uh, which knocked over the soap bottles. God knows what else over here. Thing. Well, it hasn't set anything on fire or broken anything. So, uh, it's a good day. Now we're gonna try a bit of the Everclear, um, and of course, Another thing, you don't need the spray bottle. You could just take uh, a bit of the, the isopropyl rubbing alcohol or Everclear, what have you. This would probably work with Bacardi 151 or even just regular 80 proof vodka. I'll bet it would work. Uh, and just pour. I'm getting the, the gases out that were burnt in the process of, of it running. Pour just a tiny bit. Just a very, very, very tiny bit of fuel in there. You don't need much. And you shake it up to kind of help uh, vaporize the alcohol. Because when it's burning, it's burning off the vapors. It's not burning the liquid. Okay? This. There we go. I'm not using the nozzle this time. I don't want to break anything. I think I probably had the fuel oxidizer mixture too rich. I probably had too much fuel in there. I'm gonna try it again. Nitrous oxide. There will be fuel left over after burn. It'll burn off all the oxidizer and have fuel left over. So you don't need to put fuel in there every single time. If you do, you'll make it too rich. It's gonna really work this time. Okay. Right, that's the last of that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I'm gonna drink some more now. And put up my rocketry kit. Thank you very much. Again, uh, check out my website, wickedhowtos.com. Lots of cool how-to stuff on there of a similar nature. All kinds of weird shit, occasionally something useful. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't burn your house down. Don't blow yourself up. Be careful. I do this outside, um, in, unless you're you're kind of like me. Otherwise, yeah, be careful. That is all.